Today's video is brought to you by The Coding Repairs. If you have a games console or other electronics device in need of an upgrade, service or repair, get in touch at www.thecoder.repair to obtain a quote or to book in your device today. So, um, PS5, other or unknown faults, it says, additional information from the quote, Brothers PS5 early model started overheating, uh, he then began to try to open it, gave up on it and gave it to me and bought a new slim model. I had a quick look at it and the fan connector is very loose, so I didn't proceed looking at it as it's most probably ripped pads. Just need a quote on a fully fixed up console um, and then after that is my reply. So I said, Dear Ryan, thanks very much for requesting a quote from us. Generally we would charge £60 to repair the pads on the fan connector and £45 for overheating. However, since we would already be inside the console to repair the pads, we wouldn't charge to clean the console and replace the liquid metal. As part of a normal service, we clean all consoles while working on them to ensure the device functions correctly once it gets returned. So the total cost for the repair will be £60 raised repair cost on the fan connector plus the return shipping costs. Typically either £9 or £17, depending on your preferred return shipping method. Yeah, don't know why I read all of that. Basically, it's just a broken fan connector. Um, apparently. PCB Way are currently celebrating their 10th anniversary and golly gosh, they're doing it in style. As a special thank you, PCB Way have decided to extend their anniversary sale until the 31st of August 2024. With massive discounts of up to $240 off your order, you can get your next project started today. But did you know, PCB Way don't just offer PCB fabrication services. They also offer flexible PCBs, 3D printing, CNC machining and much much more. I'll have the website linked below so be sure to check them out and get your limited time discounts. Let's get back to the video. So <coughs> yeah apparently it was overheating the original owner took it apart um, okay that's a bit okay it's never actually been opened interesting um, so it looks like they really did give up on it. Um, so it looks like they've gone to take it apart. They've probably taken this off. Yeah, that's definitely been off before. I've probably taken that off. And yeah, they've broken the fan connector. That is definitely a broken connector. So, just to cover my own back. I will always turn it on and test it. It was on me. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll pair it on. I'll test it. So that fan is definitely not working. And um, okay, that is not broken pads. It is literally just a broken connector because that fan has just kicked in when I pushed it down. The fan connector definitely needs sorting, but it's not broken. It's not damaged traces. It would still be the same price because the trace repair takes two minutes on these. But yeah, that fan connector's not actually got torn traces by the look of it because that fan did kick in when I pushed down. Let's uh, give it a testy call. There we go. Boom. That is working. Excellent. That's working. So it needs a service, which I mean, like I said, I'll do that as part of the repair anyway. To fix that connector, I've still got to tear down the console, so I will clean it. Now, I've got to be careful removing this fan. And wiggle it very gently, there we go. Okay, yeah, so the pins are actually connected. Um, it's just the actual ground pads have broken off. So it looks like he's... Which I actually do want to say, fair play to the guy. It looks like he's gone to remove the connector, probably heard a crunch or felt it and thought, oh shit, I better stop. And instead of just yeeting it up like anyone else seems to do, he's actually stopped and thought, whoops, I've just broken something, I'm going to give up on this. And he's prevented further damage, fair play. Yeah, cannot fault the guy for... Realising that he damaged something and stopping instead of carrying on. Oi! Okay, he has damaged that. That's a little bit bent. 
whatever, doesn't matter. Not a big deal. That is actually pretty clean. But hey ho, we'll still service it. We'll do what we can. It's probably got a massive joy spot on the IPU anyway. Right. There we go. Right, I'll strip that down later on. We have a little bit of liquid metal leakage. And uh, yeah, exactly like the note said, kept vertical since launch. Hmm. I think it doesn't look too bad. No, it doesn't. Like in terms of like, I mean, there's a there's a little bit of a joy spot in the middle, but it's not too bad. How's it going, Jamie? By the way. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for uh, the support, mate. Right, let's pop it under the scope. Let's pop under scope, lad. Let me just adjust the microscope. Yeah, it's not too bad, to be fair. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that for now. We do have some liquid metal leakage there, though. Yeah, so it's literally just the ground pads. Have the ground pads? Yeah, the ground pads have actually torn. Okay, so. Oh, and the tray. Oh, okay, so we have got to do some trace repair. Um, so. This main trace here. In fact, no, we haven't really. I could just. Scrape away at it and re anchor those ground anchors. Like, it's not. It's not really in need of coming off the board. Um, the traces are actually connected. So if I just scrape away at the board a little bit, like I would anyway. And the traces, but then again, I mean, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove it. Um, I'd rather remove it because I need to see how strong that trace actually is and potentially reinforce it if needed probably best to remove it so what I'll do instead then is I didn't grab another needle from my sold from my flux by the way I forgot uh, what I'll do is I'll just desolder it without hot air so I haven't got to put any hot air on the board yeah okay so that that trace is going to need repairing I'm going to do a bit of scrapey scrapey using hot air. I wanted to try and avoid using hot air, but eh, it's fine. Do -ba -do -do -do. Focus. Ah, damn it. Sorry, my bad. It's because I haven't got the screen in front of me. Sorry, guys. I am a shit streamer. I break that away. Tearing a bit of jumper wire. There we go. Right, has that trace been damaged as well? 
No, voy a... That might be that original choice from the uh, pair of pain. Keep that straight. Re anchor that. Just like that. And just like that. And just like that, this port is now secure again. Sorry, the connector, not the port. There we go. She is now secure. Solid. Wiggle test. Beautiful. Absolutely solid. Right. Diode mode test. So for these, for diode mode, pop the red probe on ground as normal and then just go inside there. And yep, we have a contact. And there, and there, good. Just make sure those pins are not shorted. Then 0.4 volt drop to ground. That is ground, 0.47. Good, okay, so pins are all connected. That's it, job done. That easy. It's not always a difficult repair. Beautiful. Right, let's sort out the liquid metal. I've got OPR on the cotton swab, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm moving this around so freely. Yeah, come on. Get up there. Yeah, so the, um, the liquid metal actually wasn't bad on this, and the console's fairly clean. There is a little bit of oxidation there, though. So I'm going to move this out the way. Okay, that could just be staining. Have a look how easy it cleans up. Yeah, it's just staining on the APU from heat spots. Gorgeous. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right. Job done. It's got a Strip the rest of the console, make sure there's no dust bunnies on the heatsink. And then that's it. Job done. And um, there's not. There are no dust bunnies. This console is pretty damn clean. Doesn't need a service. Uh, well. I guess it was probably getting warm because of the dry spots forming then. But that's taken care of anyway. So. 
All good. Right. We are ready to put it back together. Power cable. There we go. Power on. Fan is working. There we go. Yeah, buddy. That fan's spinning and it's displaying. Alexa, turn on the goggle box. Hmm. Alexa, turn on the goggle box. Okay. Dumbass. Thank you. There we go. Good stuff. She be working more. And the fan spinning as well. So, that's the job done. Uh, I will take that all day long.